Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you are well. This is mathematics. In this lesson, we want to look at this question. From 2023 GCE paper one, this was question number six. The position vector of a point P is three, four. This is the position vector. Given that the point Q is a negative one, comma, one find pq okay so we want to find the vector pq the question is coming from a topic called vectors okay in two dimensions so first of all we need to understand the meaning of position vectors these are vectors from the origin so if we say o is the origin or let's say we have this this is the origin this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis, and we have the origin O here, alright? Then we have a point here. Let's say that is point A. So, the position vector of A will be O A. That is the position vector. So when we say position vector, we are talking about vectors from the origin. Getting back to the question. So we are saying the position vector of point P is this. It is the same as writing. So solutions here. It is the same as writing P, which is OP. Because it is from the origin. So OP is equal to 3, 4. That is what you need to understand. Now given that the point Q easy so we also have oq okay oq is negative one comma one which can also be written in column form like this negative one comma one can be written like this okay so this is the information that we have the question is to find the vector p q now since the vectors are from the origin they are position vectors what you need to do is you come up with like a simple diagram to help you understand PQ. So let's say this is the origin, or we have the point P here, we also have the point Q here. You see that? What we want is PQ. So you are going to say PQ will be equal to, it's like you are standing on point P, you want to go to point Q. How are you going to move? So you are here. Point P. You want to be here. So this will be the direction. Are you seeing that? So for you to move from P to Q, you are going to say P O. Okay? P O plus O Q. That is the movement. Plus O Q. This is what we are going to write. Then you are going to substitute in here for you to find PQ. So we're going to say PQ will be equal to PO. Look at what we have here. We want PO, but what is here is OP, meaning opposite vector. So since it is opposite vector, therefore, you are not going to swap this. No, but they will carry opposite signs since they are opposite vectors. So since we have three here, we are going to have negative three. We have positive four here, you are going to have negative four. That will be now P O plus O Q. O Q, same, no change in terms of uh, signs. They are not position vectors, they are the same. O Q, O Q. So you are going to write the way it is. Negative one, one. From there, you're going to say PQ will be equal to, we can now do the addition and subtraction of what we have here. So here we have negative 3 plus negative 1. So negative 3 plus negative 1, like this. Then we have negative 4 uh, plus 1. So this is what we are going to have. Next will be PQ will be equal to negative 4 plus negative 1. This is the sum of saying negative 3, positive negative will give us a negative 1, 
then here we are going to have negative 4 plus 1. The final answer will be PQ will be equal to negative 3 minus 1 will be negative 4. And then negative 4 plus 1 will be negative 3. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the correct answer, the vector PQ. I hope this is clear. Bye-bye.